Hello! Welcome to the last and final vlog number 3 on Final Reflections. Minutes of the proceedings on the National Territory of the 1971 Constitutional Convention. The societal implications of this topic relates to our present situation of our problem in our country. Just like the scenario of the Scotty Island which is owned by the Philippine government, according to its geographical location as part of the seas in the Philippines, but these issues break more than the minds of the Filipino people that even our mere fishermen could not fish as they will in the place because of the China government who also claims the position of the sea territory. Sometimes, we could say we are now uh, the treaty being made in 1971 Constitutional Convention where the two countries are claiming this affects us new generation that we should be vigilant and be updated with our laws and constitution for us to be aware what is happening around us that the youth be a part of pursuing our rights as Filipino citizens Next, the role of Islam in the history of the Filipino people This lesson relates about the historical background of the Muslim people in the Philippines Facts demonstrate that Islamic influences from Borneo and Sulu were beginning to shed root in the Luzon during the first day of the 16th century. Not long after, Islam was being strengthened in Mindanao from Sulu as well as from the Molokas. The spread of Islam had presented an interplay of the political, economic, psychological and social causes and factors together with the, the ideological concomitants. History of the terrorism in the Philippines When independence was declared on June, July 4, 1946 and the Republic of the Philippines was established, it comprises Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The Moros reiterated their objectives but Mindanao was nevertheless incorporated under the Republic. From the independence onwards, Muslims and indigenous people have been complaining that they were mar marginalized politically and economically, except for a few rich families. The Filipino counts natural resources comprising oil, timber, nickel, cobalt, silver, and gold. In addition, in addition, as a result of the trade with Arabs, Spanish colonization composed Christianity upon the country. Next, agreement of the, on peace between the government of the Republic of the Philippines and the Amora Islamic Liberation Fund, or MILF. Implications of the issue is very crucial to every Muslim brothers where they want to fight the right to claim whatever it is in the culture, beliefs, co norms, traditions of an Islam. We cannot relate Christians of what really is in their hearts that, that they're fighting for and what they like. But what is important is that we are all Filipinos should be in one country, in one government, one in the democracy and the like. Whatever the agreement it was made from them, it is important that we will be united, one as a Filipino, so that we will live harmoniously, peacefully, happily, that we have a continuous improved country that the citizens can compete, compete global competences. Next, report of the cholera epidemic in the Philippines. The social impact was mainly characterized by financial concerns, problems with unsafe water, sanitation, and dirty environments the most common perceived causes across settings, nonetheless, none by medical explanations were widespread. Why is this epidemic this is spread widely? Because of poor hygiene. A person can get a cholera by drinking water or eating food contamin contamination. It's usually the faces of an infected person that contaminates water or food. The disease can spread rapidly in areas with inadequate treatment of sewage and drinking water. Next, Mental, the little Tokyo of the pre-war Philippines. 
what is the social implication it is most forgotten these days or vaguely mentioned during some conversations with the Davoenias. Story of the mental, the Japanese presence, and the contributions to contemporary life and culture is totally disregarded as a pity since this is such a crucial part of the Davao history. Mental is an example of forgotten heritage. Mental, commonly known as Little Tokyo, but there is a little to remind one of Tokyo. In fact, the towns along any Philippine highway, tired, dusty, and sleepy. The heritage possibilities for our barrio, like mental, are endless. But first, the residents have to discover and relieve, rely the Japanese heritage. The very thing that gives them their cultural significance that sets them apart from their neighbor. Next, post-war Philippines. Sergio Esmeña, September 9, 1878 to October 9, 1961, was the president of the Commonwealth of the Philippines after Manuel L. Quezon. Died in 1944. On October 20, 1944, Asmeya and General Douglas MacArthur returned to the Philippines. On October 23, 1944, he led the Commonwealth administration that was temporarily reestablished in Tacloban Leyte. Following the Japan's loss, Asmenya reformed the administration to meet the requirements of the country. On March 7, 1945, he signed an executive order restoring the executive departments to their pre-war status. On June 9, Asmenya called Special Session Congress to deliver his first and only State of the Nation address. Next, 1972, to 1986. As recorded by the Republic Act No. 1632, often known as the Republic Act 1971 Act, the con uh, Constitutional Convention Act, which Congress ratified in August, the 1971 Convention decided over initially by former President Carlos de Garcia and later by President Estadio Macabagal, an elect composed of 320 elected delegates was mandated on December 4, 24, 1970 to frame a new charter to place the 1935 Constitution. The 1971 Constitution Convention translated the draft to President Marcos on December 9, December 1, 1972, a few months after the proclamation of martial law. The 1973 Constitution was notable in that it provided for a transition from on a presidential and parliamentary style of government. Government Governed by a uh, unicameral National Assembly, Batasang Kumbansa, established by the 1975 Constitution, the President is the head of state and the chief and executive. The Prime Minister is the head of the government. The Assembly will elect the head of the government. The last but not the least is the 1986 to present. In accordance with the proclamation number 3, S. The Constitutional Commission met in 1986. CONCOM was formed to develop a new constitution that is strongly representative of the ideas of the people. The ambitions of the Filipino people, President Corazon Aquino, issued Proclamation No. 9 as President Aquino, namely 48 national, regional, and sectoral delegates to the Constitutional Commission in 1986 to set forth the specific importance to the work of the Constitutional Commission and notification or rejection of the proposed new constitution. Celia Muniz Palma, the first woman appointed to the Supreme Court, was elected as the Commission's President. That's all guys, thank you for watching and goodbye!